Hello, welcome to CYAS. How are you? I hope you are doing well. So, friends, as you know that on our channel we are covering the syllabus of UPSC Civil Services, and for that purpose we have started MCQ series of different topics like Ancient India, Medieval India, Modern India, Environment, History, Polity, Geography, extra. So, what we are doing in these series basically we are targeting the students of 2019. So, we are really covering five questions of each topic. So, currently we have six series. For example, of ancient India, of medieval India. So in this way, we have topics six topics, and daily of these topics we cover five questions. So if you multiply six by five, then we daily cover thirty questions. So in this manner, for example, and we will continue to do so, do so till thirty first May. So why the date chosen has been thirty first May? Because on second June is your prelims of UPSC two thousand and nineteen. So already we are on the lecture number nineteen of ancient India. So already eighteen lectures have been covered. So in this manner, we will continue to do so till thirty first May. So we are covering daily five questions. In today's lecture itself, we will be covering five questions of ancient India. So in this way, if you go by calculation, then approximately thousand hundred thousand to eleven hundred questions will be covered till thirty first May. So you can imagine that if you are practicing so much number of questions, that how much then then how much confident you can be in your exam. So if you want to be confident in your prelims exam, do follow us regularly. And and subscribe to our channel and do not forget to press the bell icon. So let's start our discussion, friends. The first question is with reference to the ancient uh, to the history of literature in ancient India. Which one of the following is not correct? A is Junagadh inscription presents the earliest specimen of Kavya style. B is Ashwagosh, the writer of Swapna Vasa Vadatta, was patronized by Kushana. C is Avadhana's composed in Buddhist hybrid Sanskrit were to preach. Mahayana Buddhism D is Kama Sutra of Vatsyana is a secular text so friends let me tell you that uh, all these are correct but one is not correct that is B option is not correct Ashok Ghosh was not the writer of Swapna Vasavadatta but yes he was patronized by Kushana Kushana Vasavadatta wrote wrote Buddha Charitra he doesn't he did he didn't write Swapna Vasavadatta and and one one Kavya he wrote also one Kavya that is Sundar Nanda Kavya so basically for a is also correct because junagadh inscription yes it is the earliest specimen of kavya style so basically kavya style is the uh, in indian in indian culture kavya style is poem poem of epics in sanskrit language so that is called kavya style so junagadh inscription of rudra daman is uh, uh, that is in kathiawar peninsula a, it is it is it 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 presents the earliest specimen of kavya style So C, Abadnas are also correct because Abadnas are written by uh, by Buddhi. They are the Buddhist hybrid Sanskrit in composed in Buddhist hybrid Sanskrit to preach the Mahayana Buddhism and also Kama Sutra of what say another secular text. So the solution is B. That is, it is uh, the B option is not correct. So the solution is B. So here is the explanation. So when India came into contact with Central Asian rulers, so various uh, rulers patro started patronizing Sanskrit literature. And uh, and earliest specimen of that is Junagadh inscription of Rudra Daman in Kathiawar, which was uh, uh, established in A.D. fifty. So Kavya style refers to Indian epic poems written in Sanskrit. So basically, Kushana is also patronized Ashwagoda Ashwagosh, who who wrote Buddha Charitra biography of Buddha. He also composed Sanskrit Kavya Sundar Nanda. So already I have told to you this. So Swapna was Vadatta was written by Bhas and not by Ashwagosh. So please remember this. This is also an important fact because in solution you would wouldn't have had uh, wouldn't have get the idea of this. Swapna was Vadatta was written by Bhas. So it is a important thing to remember. It can be asked in your prelims. So there were also numerous Vadnas that were written in Buddhist hybrid Sanskrit to preach the Mahayana Buddhism. And there are uh, some of the important books of them. Among them is Mahavastu and Divya Vadna. So Mahavastu is considered the most most famous were classified as avadna so basically avadnas were what 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 they were they were they were the legendary literary material centering on buddha's explanation of events of present life by a person's per, uh, by persons worthy deeds in a previous life so this is correct so let's move on to the second question second question is who amongst the following kings was followers of jainism so uh, first first option is raja raja 1 Second is Chandragupta Maurya. Third is Mahendra Varma, Mahendra Var Mahendra Varman. 
Palva won. So friends, uh, Raja Raja won as you know was a Chola ruler. But let me tell you friends, he was not a follower of Jainism. He was he was follower of Shaivism, and he 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 at at uh, and and he he established a temple called Than. Uh, a bridishwara temple in tanjavur so one is incorrect because he followed shaivism but regarding the second second the chandragupta maurya it is true the uh, the chandragupta maurya in in his later part of life he joined jainism and he went to shravan bolnak belagola in south india so third is also correct mahendra varman palva one he was the ruler of palva dynasty uh, uh, he he also followed jainism in his initial uh, days of his life but later he joined to savijan but once he remained the follower of jainism so second and third are the two and three are the uh, followers of jainism so two and three only would be the option so the correct option is c so here the answer is solution is c so the solution is c so uh, we, friends we provide the explanation of only first question so if you want the explanation of rest of the questions that uh, uh, that uh, that uh, we, uh, for ex because the explanation is important friends for your prelims point of view because it is not just that you see a question and you see its answer you th then your purpose is solved in upsc in upsc you must have conceptual clarity and you must know also that why a particular option is incorrect and why others are are why why a particular option is correct and others are incorrect and in which context they will be correct so you will get them in explanation pdfs only so if you want to subscribe to them you can whatsapp us at this given number that is 89684264815 uh, also i will tell you the details in in uh, in in few minutes the how to uh, then the, that how to how you can subscribe to the these these uh, these explanation pdf so let's move on to the third question third question is uh, which among the uh, third question is which among the following sites provide the earliest evidence of settled agriculture in indian subcontinent so friends it is a quite easy question everybody must know it a option is dholavira d b is inamgarh c is kalibangan d is mehergarh so the solution is d that is mehergarh so earliest evidence of agriculture settled agriculture is found in Meher mehergarh that is in kachi plains so it is considered a precursor to indus valley civilization uh, because it is said that after it is from here only that the settled life spread and slowly the agriculture production increased and then the processes of urbanization set in so solution is d so the explanation is in explanation pdf so let's move on to the 43rd question for uh, sorry friends here i have been i have mistaked uh, for not 43rd it must be fourth question so it is a typing mistake here consider the following statements the first is the branch of knowledge which studies the coins is called numismatic second is the earliest coins called the punch marked coins punch marked one were in silver and copper third is punch marked coins does not bear any inscription on them so let me tell you friends that the first statement is correct that uh, yes the uh, study of coins is called numismatics and also second statement is correct that the earliest coin coins that are found in indian subcontinent are of silver and copper and also they do not bear any inscription on them simply simply there are symbols on them and they they also sub, they, the symbols are punched on them sometimes they these symbols overlap each other but there is no 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 inscription on them so the correct all, all the statements are correct so the, the correct answer is d that is one two and c three so this is the solution that is solution is d so this is a this is a explanation part so let's move on to your last question so here also there is a typing mistake it must be fifth question consider the following statements first is only the kshatriyas and brahmanas were entitled to upanayana ceremony second is the importance of sabha and smriti diminished during the later vedic period third is ashramas were well established during the vedic times so we have to choose the correct answer so let me tell you friends that the first statement is incorrect because it was not only the kshatriyas and brahmanas it was vaishyas also who were entitled to upanayana ceremony that is that is of a, uh, that is of a, uh, uh, in investing a sacred a sac a sacred thread on the in the on the, on the body of a of a child so upanayana ceremony was uh, the uh, was uh, who were entitled both uh, kshatriyas brahmanas as well as vaishyas were entitled to it but not the shudras so the second statement is the importance of sabha and samiti diminished during the later vedic period yes friends it is a quite well known fact so the yes the importance of sabha and samiti that is samiti that is a popular body and uh, sabha the uh, body of elders so they the it the importance of these bodies diminished during the later vedic period 
एंड थर्ड स्टेटमेंट दैट आश्रमास वर वेल स्टेब्लिश ड्यूरिंग द वैदिक टाइम्स फ्रेंड्स इट इज इन करेक्ट एंड आश्रमास वर नॉट वेल स्टेब्लिश ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ड्यूरिंग द अर्ली वैदिक टाइम वी फाइंड फोर आश्रमास बट इन लेटर वैदिक टाइम वी गेट वी वी गेट द आइडिया ऑफ ओनली थ्री आश्रमास एंड वेरी फ्यू पीपल फॉलोड इट फॉलोड इट स्ट्रिक्टली सो सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज सेकेंड ओनली सो द आंसर इज सोल्यूशन इज बी सो दिस इज द सोल्यूशन सो दिस इज आल अबाउट फ्रेंड्स यूर लेक्चर ऑफ एंशियंट इंडिया सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट द एक्सप्लेनेशन पी डी एफ दैन यू कैन व्हाट्सएप आस एट द गिवन नंबर दैट इज एट नाइन सिक्स एट फोर टू सिक्स फोर एट वन सो फ्रेंड्स वाई इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू सब्सक्राइब टू दीज पी डी एफ बिकॉज लेट मी टेल यू दैट एट एट द एंड ऑफ द डे यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू रिवाइज योर होल सिलेबस थ्रू 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 स्टैंडर्ड बुक्स और बाई सींग लॉन्ग वीडियोज दैट आर टेन टू ट्वेंटी मिनट लॉन्ग बिकॉज एट दैट टाइम यू विल हैव अदर थिंग्स टू रिवाइज लाइक लाइक इकनॉमिक सर्वे बजट इंडिया ईयर बुक एंड मैनी अदर टॉपिक्स यू विल हैव टू रिवाइज सो एट दैट टाइम इफ यू स्टार्टड फॉलोइंग स्टैंडर्ड बुक्स बिकॉज एट द मोस्ट स्टैंडर्ड बुक्स कैन बी रेड टू और थ्री टाइम्स आफ्टर दैट दे बिकम बोरिंग ऑल्सो एन सी आर टीज कैन ऑल्सो एन सी आर टीज बिकम वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम सो सो if some students what they do they start not they they start not make they start the process of not making but that is also wastage of time because you don't have enough time to make notes for your preparation so you must have some kind of uh, reference material from which you can revise quickly because the entire role is played by the revision at least you must have revised your whole syllabus syllabus five or six times because 70% role is played by the revision so the most effective way to revise the whole syllabus is through question answer format because you when you see a question the curiosity arises in in you to see its answer and when you answer it the if your answer is wrong then you go for its explanation and then you read that why a particular option is correct and why others are not correct and when in which context they will be correct so in this way your revision takes place multiple times and you become you become confident so this is what is required you you must be confident in your prelims you must be confident in the exam hall because then only your selection will take place if you are not confident by reading then certainly you will you will you will get confused in the exam hall so that for that purpose you must revise uh, periodically and the, the most effective way with 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 the with minimum loss of time is is question answer format which uh, and these questions must also be up to the level of upsc they they must not be just of uh, of the level below upsc you know the level of upsc so i don't have to i think i don't have to explain the level of upsc so you if you follow those questions and like their explanations you will sail through prelims so if you want to get the explanation pdfs of these mcqs for the purpose of uh, uh, convenience of your revision you can uh, you can subscribe to these explanation pdfs so what is the procedure so let me tell you friend that we have kept minimum charges for them for example for environment we have kept the cost rupees 50 so friends let me tell you let me clarify you that this is not the cost of one explanation pdf it is the it is the total cost of all explanation pdfs that we have covered and we will be going to cover till 31st may for example we are already on the lecture number 47 of the environment so up till 31st may we, we will be covering nearly 150 to 160 lectures so you are getting The, the these like explanation pdfs in just rupees 50 that is you have to make a single time payment only so it is a quite uh, quite uh, small amount so it is affordable to you people and it is uh, we have kept this minimum charges for the for the purpose of our motivation so that we remain also consistent because if you have paid us then we will certainly remain consistent we will have the responsibility in free thing it is not available because because persons do not follow the consistency they they think that they are not obliged to to post daily videos but we are obliged to post daily videos and now you are uh, getting the videos at, at exact time table because we have made a exact time table of every video that is to be uploaded on youtube similar is the pattern for ancient india medieval india modern india so if you, in case you want to subscribe if your particular portion is weak then you can subscribe to it but if you want to subscribe to the, all of them then total cost amounts to rupees 950 but in complete package we are offering you a discount of rupees 150 that is uh, you will get them get it in just rupees 800 so if you want to get the complete pdf so you can uh, uh, the complete package of explanation pdfs you can whatsapp us at this number that is 8968426481 
so i guarantee you friends it will certainly help you in revision and uh, lastly friends uh, uh, thanks a lot for watching this video please like it if you liked it please share it with your friends and uh, please comment if you have any suggestion and uh, also friends please subscribe to our channel and do not forget to press the bell icon because then only you will get all the notifications of the updates that we do on youtube for the upsc csc 2019 so thank you friends thank you